I want to introduce you to the second part of information centric networking in the framework of the Quality Bill project. What we discussed before already is um, the different protocols and if we have um, the internet, the um, existing internet protocol, we see that we have our hourglass with the internet protocol as the glue in the middle. We have the different applications on top, we have the different transport layer protocols and application layer protocols. Um, we have the variety of different uh, physical layer, um, um, data link layer um, protocols which provide um, the interconnection of different networks and network techno technologies. If you look for content center networking, a form of the ICN, of the information center networking, we would have also the same number of applications. We have different streams. We have something of security which encrypts and, and, and authenticates the data information. And we have the content chunk as the glue. So we have the, the content itself is being transferred and um, it's the one which goes over all the different uh, physical layer and um, data link layer technology. So on the bottom, we mainly have the same. One difference is we can put ICN or CCN on top of IP as well. And um, this line of the strategies is deciding um, to which interface you would uh, forward the request and get the information from. If you talk about um, the content, we have to think about the naming of the content. And if you say um, all data has to be um, has to be given a name, a web page, a document, a video has to be given, and then we call this a named data object. And the data, the naming scheme, is um, designed firstly that we can read it in a human readable form, and we need a hierarchy. And the hierarchy could be something which is uh, rather similar to the URLs. So we could have a global rootable name in the beginning which is, com is um, the source of the information. Could be TUHH is our university. And then we could go for the organizational name inside, which is then uh, lectures and CCN, um, the PowerPoint version, for example. And then automatically we would add something like a timestamp for the version number, and we might uh, we need to add some authentication data. If you look at the CCN packet types, we have, um, as mentioned from the idea, we have to um, ask for information, that is, we express interest. In this interest, we would have the content name, the name for the interest, and we have some, some selectors which define what um, kind of um, information um, is being um, asked for. And this is propagated to the network until it finds the data, and the data itself has, of course, the content inside, but it has also a signature, the name again, the content name, and it has some information, um, the signed information, giving the authentication or the author uh, authentication of this data. If you think about how does that work in the end, uh, we have the user and we have um, different routers in our network and the server. And if a router asks for some information, it um, sends out the interest. Yeah? That's a something like, I'm interested in something like BBC News. It is looked up in a node. The node is basically checking its content, its content cache. If it's there, it would return it directly. If it's not there, it would forward this interest to the next node, to the next router. The same, it would basically um, look up in the table. If there's no match, it would forward the interest further until it reaches the server and it has a match of the information and it forwards it back. Each node which is passed on the way back caches the con content according to its strategy, and the data is then um, returned to the user. If another user comes into the same node A or to node B asking for the same information, it would get it directly from the cache. So if you look at the different, in, inside a CCN node, we have different um, devices. We have interfaces, which are called phases. So these, are go to the different, these go to the different other routers or network elements. We have a controller, and we have a content store, which is our cache. And then we um, basically, if we get an interest, we put it to the, con to the pending interest table, which is then forwarded once the um, content or the data comes back. We can um, check in the uh, pending interest table where it is, wh who requested this and send it back. And we have a forwarding information base, which tells us to which phase we need to, or which phase we should forward different content based on information and learning or algorithm strategies which we have defined in the 
um, in the CCN protocol, uh, which is imposed by the controller. The content store is, um, which I just used, is a, buffers, uh, is a buffer memory. It serves as the cache for the content. And as mentioned, if the request data is in the content store, the node can be immediately the node can immediately send the data back without generating further requests to the original content provider. And with this, we can reuse the overall bandwidth usage and the latency. And the main challenge which we have is how to cache um, to increase the hit probability. So what is the right st caching strategy is an important question here. The pending interest table I just briefly introduced and keeps track of received interests, maps the interest to the network interface where the corresponding requests have been received from. It enables the request aggregation. And when the node receives the date of interest, it checks um, the pending interest table and um, satisfies or forwards the data to where it needs to be sent to and then deletes the interest entry in the pending interest table. And unresponded interest times out eventually and must be reissued by the requester if necessary. So that's something how the protocol should work nicely. We have also the forwarding information base. It acts as a routing table in an IP router. It stores information on which faces interest should be forwarded to for different content sources. So we have the hierarchy of the names and we have an idea that THH is on phase one, then we would forward content requests for phase one, uh, for THH on phase one. And the FIP can be built um, using routing protocols similar to those in the current internet. And then finally, uh, we have the routing. We don't root for IP addresses as name, we root for names. So we call name-based routing. We rely on the longest prefix matching lookups and uh, we allow for multiply outgoing interfaces to find a good path for uh, the content which is being requested. Finally, security. Security is achieved through public key cryptography. Uh, we have to establish trust in keys by different means. For example, we can have a PKA like a certificate chain which is based on the naming hierarchy and information or the information provided by a friend or a, f um, a person we trust. Concluding, ICN or also CCN is a new network architecture that changes the current networking paradigm from host centric to information centric or content centric networking. The main components of CCN or ICN in general are named data objects, caches, routing and forwarding. And ICN is expected to solve problems in today's internet regarding scalability, mobility, and security. However, this allows or this requires a change from existing network technologies and protocols to CCNs. We still can have um, CCN on based on I top of IP, but it most efficient it would be to have a a clean state architecture using ICN or CCN. Here are the references from what I've just been talking about, mainly the uh, forward project and uh, Van Jacobson from Park who is um, giving information on the ICN and CCN protocols. Now it's time to repeat what we have just been introduced um, using a quiz. <coughs> 